if you are doing this, you are losing money and you are losing sales. One of the greatest dumb mistakes that I made when I was getting started, I was a marketing consultant and I was offering my service and I would use a strategy like a discovery call, a, a strategy session, right? I was offering this so the potential client would get on the phone with me for an hour and I would try to close their sale for them to hire me as a consultant within that period of time. You know exactly what I'm talking about. It could be a discovery call, it could be a strategy session, it could be a free consultation, it could, could be a breakthrough session, whatever you call it, it doesn't matter. It's a closing call, right? And I would get on the phone, right? Spend an hour trying to impress the client showing him or her everything that I know and, and how smart I am and, and impress them. And I would talk most of the time. And guess what? I wouldn't close. I would not close. Because a confused mind always says no. A confused prospect always says no. But more than that, an overwhelmed prospect also says no. When you try to educate too much during the closing call, you might think, well, I'm just trying to add value. That's what I was thinking too. I want to add as much value as I could within that one hour period. So by the end, of course, they would hire me because they could see how much value I'm giving them. I'm, I'm giving them my best strategies. I'm giving them my best ideas. Now, definitely, it's a no-brainer to hire me. No, that's not how it works. When you overwhelm your prospect, here's what happens. First of all, he or she is thinking, wow, this is a lot of work. I don't know if I want to do this. I don't know if I'm ready for this. This is like, this is too much, right? Number two is they are thinking, well, you know what? You've already given me a lot. Thank you very much. Let me just take what you've given me and let me just go implement on my own. Let, let me try these things out. And if I do find good results, I will get back to you. And guess what? They never do. They don't get back to you. Comment below if you know what I'm talking about. It doesn't happen. So the fact you might be thinking, well, you know what, if I add value, they will hire me. It doesn't work that way. Instead, what should you do? Close first. Close today. Educate later. Close the sale today. Educate later. After they have committed financially. After you've closed the sale. Then you can educate. When you educate too early, you're actually doing them a huge disservice. What am I talking about? You know and I know it. You are not going to solve their problems, whatever problem they might have, in one hour. It is egotistical to think you can solve any major problem in one hour. I don't care who you are. I don't care what you do. You will need them if you want to help them long term. You want to solve their problems long term. It takes a little bit of time. So don't try to solve all the problems in, in one hour. What we're trying to do within that one hour is to establish expectations. How you and I are going to work together. What are the terms? What are the investments, right? What is their commitment level? You want to establish all those things. And you want to talk a little bit about their pain point. Because when there's no pain, there is no sell. So no pain, no sell. So within that one hour, you shouldn't talk too much. You shouldn't try to educate too, too much. Let them talk. You close that sale, they sign the deal. Now they are committed financially. Then you can do the education you want, all the education that you want, but it comes after you make that sale. Don't make the mistake that I made. It cost me so much money. Once I switch my approach, Instead of trying to impress them within that one hour, all I do is I focus on their pain points. And I talk about exactly how we're going to do business, right? I talk about the terms, I establish expectations. And I sometimes tell them up front, you know what, Mr. Prospect, we're not going to solve your problem in one hour. No one could solve your problem in one hour. What I want to do is take the time and kind of talk a little bit how you and I are going to work together in the next three months, six months, one year, or two years, right? Are you comfortable making that kind of commitment? If not, tell me right now, we're not going to move forward because we're not going to work together. But if you are committed, 
to solve this problem and you want to work together long term, then let's talk. And these are the terms and here's how we're going to work together. Once I switch that approach, boom, my consulting business just, just took off. Now I'm not closing one out of 20, one out of 30, I'm closing one out of five, you know, one out of three. And I was charging more money. Isn't that amazing? So remember, close the sale today, educate tomorrow. If you have any other questions about closing, about sales, comment below, let me know. I can take those topics if what you're suggesting is good. I will take those questions. I will make future video based on what you share with me. If this is the first time you watch my video, click on, click on the playlist, watch my other closing and sales video because chances are whatever questions that you might have, I've already answered a lot of those in my other videos. So go ahead, keep making it ring.